everyone. It's really nice to see a big turnout. I'm sure more people are coming. We're just going to get started with some opening remarks. So I'm Naomi Sagai. I'm a woman of color. And so I'm somewhat outraged. Actually, I'm pretty outraged. Distraught, concerned, and hungry. I'm hungry for passion for my peers to get up. Get up, get up. Stand up, stand up, stand up. I definitely messed up the song, but it's more like stand up, get up, stand up. For you're right. I can't think clearly. Over the past 20 years, the judicial system has murdered an overwhelmingly a majority, an overwhelmingly a majority of black and brown men. Trayvon Martin, Eric Garner, Samir Wright, Michael Brown, Danny Cruz, Akai Gurley, and the name. about racial profiling, the aggressive policing, and the terrorizing of black and brown people in their own communities. We are doing this because we will not remain in silence. We demand justice for everyone. We demand a re-evaluation of the justice system. We need to realize that the system does not provide justice for black and brown people. We demand that Hamilton too engage in search for this justice. In the 60s, one of the most significant organizations fighting for civil rights was a student non-violent coordinating committee. SNCC. SNCC participated in a majority of sit-ins and freedom rides to promote racial equality. Students our own age. They were key proponents for the March on Washington. They were college students. We are college students. Hamiltonians continue to underestimate the power we have in initiating, evoking, and establishing social change. It's time we engage in the conversation. It's time to push what the system prevents us from obtaining. My brothers and sisters will no longer die in vain. Lay with us in solidarity, and Joette will take us on. Thank you for coming today. The United States is experiencing over 350 years of systemic racism, it is 2014, and today we are holding a die-in. In the 1960s, we were holding sit-ins. We need to come to terms with the state of our country. These strange fruits are no longer hanging from trees. These strange fruits are in the hands of our police, and they're being shot down, plopped to the ground. Tamir Rice, age 12 years old, a child, killed within two seconds of being in contact with the police. Laying on the ground in the blazing sun for four and a half hours, Michael Brown, 18 years old, asphyxiated in a chokehold in the arms of the police, Eric Garner, age 29. How many people need to suffer? How much blood needs to be shed? How many tears need to come from the eyes of mothers, fathers, wives, husbands, children? How much more suffering do we need to quantify? Hamilton College, this is our time, our call to action. This is our time to show that we're gonna stand for something. We're not gonna stand and face injustices in silence. We're not gonna stand and face injustices and turn a blind eye. This is our fight. This is everyone's fight. Black and brown people are not threats. They are not dangerous. They're not criminals, they're not demons. They're human beings 
who deserve a right to live on this planet free from injustices. In the future, what do you want to be remembered for? Do you want to be a people who stood by and watched injustices occur? Or do you want to stand up for something? Black and brown men are 21 times more likely to die in the hands of the police than their white counterparts. We need to come to grips with the state of our society. I ask you today, where do you stand? I don't have the luxury to debate in a room about my life. I don't have the luxury to debate in a room about my life and the life of other people. This is my life. The life of the people who share the same skin color as me. They deserve to live. They deserve peace. They deserve equality. Where do you stand? What do you stand for? Because this right here, this is us making history. Thank you. Four and a half minutes of silence.
not be moved. He shall not be moved. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Don't 